Hi, I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. And this, and this is, is Maggie, Maggie May. May. Join us as we follow the moon. Today we wanted to show you where we are staying in Pendleton, Oregon. This is a KOA journey and the journeys are designed for easy in, easy out, a lot of one night stays on along your journey. And I think if this one had a pool, which it doesn't, it would probably be a holiday because the amenities are really, really nice for a journey. It is nice. So come along and enjoy the, the tour of Pendleton KOA. Thanks. Now we're out on Interstate 84, heading east towards Pendleton. We're about three quarters of a mile away from our exit, so we want to take a moment here and show you where we're going. This is the park map, and I want you to pay attention to this map because it comes printed with the manager's cell phone, where the manager's house is on the property. They want to be there to service you no matter what time you're having an issue. And that's just the tip of the iceberg with the service with this park. So we're going to take our exit here. And this is so close to the interstate and it was so quiet. We never had yeah. interstate noise yeah. the whole time. We do normally speed up the video on these. Today's video is ran at just at regular speed. We'll come off the exit ramp. We'll make a right. And as soon as we can, we make our next right. This is actually Nye, N-Y-E is the name of the, the road. Come down past a couple of fuel stations on our right and a hotel on our left. And we will take our first road to the left. And that brings us right straight into the park. There are uh, KOA signs along the interstate for the exit. Yeah. And at every one of these turns, there's a yellow KOA sign with a red arrow on it. So you really can't miss it. When you get to the park, that's how close we were to the interstate. When you get to the park, you'll see the big sign out front. And as you pull in, the left hand side will take you straight into the park. The right hand side, there's two staging lanes where you can pull in. The office is right there, as well as a little camp store. And at that building, they also do have Pepsi vending machines. They have ice available and they have their first of two sets of bathhouses. Both of them are completely different. This one has shower doors all the way around it. It only had one toilet stall, but all the rest of those are, are private showers. Again, everything completely clean. This park is so well maintained. Yes, it is. And it does have a lot of grass in it. The grass is all mowed. They have sprinklers mm -hmm. in it. Uh, it's just really a pretty park. Now these ones on the right hand side are not numbered spaces on the map. These are more for longer term uh, people. The ones in the middle are back in on the first half of the, the, the uh, sites pull through on the last half. Nice big playground, little covered picnic area there. This building has the laundry in it. And again, clean as could be. Yeah, yeah, very clean, very nice. And it also has the second bathhouse. And this one's entirely different. This one has three separate doors and they are full private baths. Great if it's a family bath. Yeah, yeah. That one was also a handicapped accessible. 
There are also storage units that right there. That surprised me to see that. That's convenient. Mm -hmm. Now again, the, one, the sites on the right are the longer term sites. The ones on the left are pull through. Those pull throughs are gravel. They're long sites. They're very nice sites. But they each have a little area of grass. Mm -hmm. Most of the other sites are concrete uh, pads for your rig. Now at the very back of the park here, these sites along the back are tent sites five, four, three, and two going across the back. They all have little grills. They all have grass. This is tent site number one, which is even bigger. <laughs> and this is their Conestoga wagon. This is their version of having a cabin, and it is so cute. They've got a gas grill back there and a uh, utility sink for anybody to use that's in the tent area. And as you come back and go back into the loop, on our right hand side is where their propane fill is available. They do have dumpsters or several places in the park, so it's always easy to get to. And nice trees. Yes, it was really nice. Yeah. All trimmed up, but plenty of shade. Now again, these sites on the right are longer term on the outside edge. The pull-throughs again are in on our left there. This fence coming up is KOA's Camp K9. There you go. This one is was unique. This is the first I've seen this done in our travels. It is uh, gravel, but then it has a uh, artificial turf area. Some of the dogs went for it, some didn't. Yeah. We had the very first spot beside Camp K9. It was fun watching all the dogs come and go. Yeah. And their people. Now the campsites are a little bit more narrow than what some sites are, but remember this is a journey. This is supposed to be overnight, easy in and out water hook up there and it is all heat taped and everything so it can be used late in the season the boxes are all 50 amp but they all have a dog bone attached to them so if you're in a 30 amp rig and you don't have the dog bone no problem and there's cable on every side coming around the other side this was our campsite we had a real nice little picnic table and a great view at the oh, back where our tree was. Oh. Now we're going to back out of our site and we're going to go back up towards the front of the park. In this area, both sides are regular camping, not long term. So even though this is on the outside row on our right, these are regular sites. The ones in the middle in this front part are sites that back in towards each other. They're not pull-throughs. The street is nice and wide, super easy to get in and out of the spaces. Now the park managers, that's their home right there on the left. They are right there at the entrance. And right beside them, that's what they call the watering hole. It was locked while we were there but it's their uh, uh, clubhouse. Yeah. And when you're ready to leave, it's that easy to get out. So Kathy, what did you think about our stay at the Pendleton KOA journey? First, I've got to say, I love our view. It is so beautiful. And yes, I, I do like this place. We've really gotten spoiled with all of the many different views you get in Washington and Oregon. Yep. And this one is our last stop in Oregon before we depart for another new state, Idaho. And it's really a nice way to leave the state seeing a view like this. Absolutely. And you know, especially if you're coming into a park for an overnight or a short stay, Having a view like that is kind of a luxury compared to a lot of them. That's right. 
So with that, if you've enjoyed our video today, please leave us a thumbs up. We certainly do appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe, ring that notification bell. That way you'll know when all of our new videos come out. And as always, thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.